Now, many people who are going through a life-changing illness, perhaps trying to find purpose, maybe, in what's happening to them, and sometimes that's maybe by helping a charity or changing lifestyle, but for the artist John Hyatt, the obvious response to his head and neck cancers was to create art. His new exhibition has just opened at Arrow Park Hospital in Wirral, and Jill dummigan has been to have a look. The Diary of an Artist, a watercolour every day to document Professor John Hyatt's daily struggle with cancer and its often gruelling treatments. But when I was painting, I managed to lose myself in that, in that of painting. So it took your mind off, off the worry and, and the pain after the surgery? Yeah, but when I'm painting, I'm, I'm not poorly, I'm not ill anymore. I've disappeared. For much of his life, John's done anything but disappear. The singer of 80s punk band The Three Johns, he became an internationally acclaimed artist, heading up institutions in both Manchester and Liverpool, constantly involved in public projects. At the beginning, I was in this, the act of life. But then, when I came to do the paintings, I managed to let go of my previous life and embrace a new positive way forward. So the paintings allowed you to accept the change that had come to your life yes. and, and work with it to produce something else? Yes. It was John's son, Tom, who first suggested this project. Dad is inherently a performer um, and an extrovert, and so that's that would be a great outcome for Dad and then also be a great outcome for other people because, you know, they're great things to see. And there's a message. Head and neck cancer's easy to miss and quick to grow. And it's a big problem in the North West. The main symptoms to be aware of is a persistent uh, ulcer in the mouth, in the tongue, a lump in the neck that isn't going away, a s difficulty swallowing associated with earache and any voice changes that are persistent. John hopes the exhibition will raise awareness and inspire others going through similar experiences. Well, apart from the fact they're beautiful, they're, I, I feel like they're very emotional just because you know the story behind the images that are there and the, the journey that John's gone through. They're just amazing, aren't they? It's uh, incredible what someone can do when they're going through such a difficult time. The exhibition runs for four weeks. Jill Dummigan, BBC Northwest Tonight, Arrow Park Hospital. Oh, well done to John and very best of luck, uh, best wishes for the exhibition. Now